people don't even know it because religion itself is like a, a drug. Yeah. Yes. It's like a drug. And you can yeah. think that you can have off off Yah, but you just getting high off of religion. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe me, just look around the world and see how many different religion there is on, that you look at and say that don't make sense. But they doing it anyhow. That's yeah. why man is very religious. Yeah. Okay, and so as I observe and begin, even in the office, I was just pointing like, man, this this is this is incredible because. As we move forward towards the time of the Musha coming, the internet is going to be uh, uh, one of the number one enemy. Mm -hmm. Because even though we can read in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, where the text yeah. says, Do not forsake the assembly of, of yourself together as, as some. Mm -hmm. But you don't understand, Pastor. I got the internet, I got Facebook. So it's like trading my wife in for one of these dolls that, that they make. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they make them. Mm -hmm. So I trade my wife in because cause, cause why well, I can order this this bride doll doll that's a a a a a a a uh, uh, computer however they make it at least that she ain't gonna talk back to me. See, I ain't really gotta deal with her. I can just use her as my pleasure. Then I set her in the corner. But if I get a real woman like my wife, I got to deal with what comes to marriage. Mm -hmm. So they say, well, I can just sit in front of my, my computer and I ain't got to deal with a man of God telling me what to do. I can govern my life how I want to do. Mm -hmm. I can turn when I don't like what this pastor is saying, I go to another one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to find the pastor on the Facebook or the internet that that's, that I agree with. And when I don't agree with him no more, I just go to another one. Yeah. And so that's what I'm looking at as 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 a uh, uh, as a pastor as I'm observing it because you hear you can't even uh ask people do they believe in God no more because by now you have to question what God. Right. Yes, that's right. 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 Yeah. That's right, Pastor. You see, you you have to question that, and you have to uh, and and a, a few people I've talked to have came to the conclusion like, man, I'm staying off of Facebook, I'm staying off the internet, because you can become so involved in the in the internet and the Facebook that you're going from one teacher to another, do, 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 mm -hmm. and you don't just substitute that for fellowship. Mm -hmm. See, true fellowship in the kingdom is coming in here and dealing with flesh and blood. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why I can always tell a person. That 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 uh grew up under the, a a Facebook or a YouTube pastor, why? Because he can't deal with fellowship. Mm. Oh, I can all, uh, you know, I can tell that that they so mixed up that when they try to ask me questions, they don't even know. They forget who pastor they heard that from. Am, am I right? Yes, I can sir. tell their mind is so scatterbrained. It's like me being married, but I got three girlfriends in three different cities. What's the chance of me accidentally calling my wife by one of those girls' names? You gonna do it? Yeah. It's gonna happen sooner or later. Yes, sir. So, uh, you, you just, just like Jennifer. Who's you? No, that. Why? Because I got too many, and so that's why I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to tell you. So when people come in here and try to ask me questions, I know that they've been sitting under the internet and they don't even know how to get it out. Right. But a shepherd, but God did not own it. Listen, Yah has set this system up so good. That he said that 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 let's go to the script and see how Yah has set this up. Let's look at one said uh let's go to Hebrew. Miss Rowe, you already know where I'm going. Go to Hebrews. Uh-huh. Very important. As a shepherd, listen, I don't get no money on Bible study night. We put out a basket, and if they want to put something in there, they take it. So nobody can ever say, Well, they just take them to the offer. We don't do nothing. You ain't gotta bring a dime in here. Hallelujah. And the reason that I ain't worried about your money, this verse tell you right here. Tell me, tell him, read that verse for me. You, you already know the verse. Do I? Do I? Yeah. Okay, Pastor. Pray for those who watch it on your soul, right? I'm going to give you a hint. Okay. I, I, yeah, I throw you a hint. This why. I'm looking, listen, any money that you give me, I'm going to spend it before the day or the week. But if, if I store my treasures 
in laying with the souls of the most high. Give me, man, you know what I'm throwing out. That's right. Sorry, Pastor. I'm a, I'm Sorry, a Pastor. No, no, no. I, I, I am a, a sister keeper. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Uh, uh, chapter 13, verse 17. This is how I feel. Okay. Now, now this is for your sake. Uh -huh. Am I right? Yes, sir. Go ahead. The word is exhorting me to obey them that have the rule over you. Why, why should you do that? And to submit myself for Pastor Sherman watches for your souls as one that must give account yeah. that he may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for me. That's the kind of shepherd that you should have, one who watches over your soul. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Not watching over your, your uh, checkbook. Yes, sir. Not yes, watching sir. over what you put in the offering. Yes, sir. Watching over your soul. That's why our Bible study on Bible week, Man, you should come out here. It ain't like the Shabbat. No, Amen. it ain't like the Shabbat. Mm -hmm. It's open. It's free. You can ask how many questions you want to. The Shabbat is just a service mm -hmm. that we come and fellowship and eat. Right. But bi-weekly is where we get down, get dirty. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Right. We get down and dirty. Now, here's the question that I want to ask because I, I know I had put the title, The Blood. Line of I'm like, but I already done changed in the midst of just sitting in the office. I just want to ask this question because I know I got students out. Now, so I'm sitting in the office and so I'm looking at how things are going just in the spiritual and watching everybody and, they, and just paying attention. And so I know that that on the internet or Facebook ain't got nothing that I ain't teaching. They teach the same thing I'm teaching. Oh, I mean, I'm just saying there's some good teaching out there, but that's some good teaching they can do. Yeah. Am I right? Right. So, so I'm thinking like, well, it can't be the lack of good teaching because I'm I'm teaching good here too. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. now I ain't going to fool with that because I already know that I ain't, listen. I ain't even got to prove that. No. Because the proof is in the eating. That's right. But I want to ask this question here. The question I want to ask then is how saved. Are we? Mm. How saved are we? That's the question. That, that. How saved are we? My friend that be running his mouth. How saved are we? Mm. What is salvation? Mm. What it means to walk after Yeshua, to be called by him. Mm. I'm going to read some stuff. And I want y'all to feed back on me. As, as I read this here, then we go to the word and look at some scripture. Mm -hmm. So now I'm reading. How saved are we? Now, let's talk about the miracle church for a moment. The miracle church at the 21st century, we talk about us, is in, in a crisis. Mm -hmm. But see, it doesn't look like that to people that ain't, ain't, ain't deep in the word. Amen. I ain't talking about deep in program in churches. Mm -hmm. right, right. Because I don't care. Most churches do the same thing. You do it food bank, I do a food bank. You feed the hunger, I feed the hunger. You do the I, oh, outreaches, I do our but, but it's but that's everybody doing that. Right, right. If you put some demand on these uh these food banks, I wonder how many people come in. Huh? Put some demand that you had to do a, a, a before we pass out the food. If you're not in at the service, the service only 30 minutes. 30 minutes. If you're not in the service from 11 to 11 30, if you're not there, you don't get no food. Put some demand on that. Watch this. Okay? okay. So we're talking about the American church. Okay? Right, right. It's in a crisis. Why is that, Pastor? Because we have preached. A cheap gospel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. What do you mean a cheap gospel? A cheap gospel. We have not only preached a cheap gospel, but a a a a, a weak savior. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you what, we'll because of that, yeah. what we have reaped. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's coming back to get us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's coming back to get us. That's why it's a shame that you think I like it when people I know they come in here and they can't even stay in sound doctrine. But they're so involved in their church and they're struggling to find the book of Zephaniah mm. or Haggai. Huh? Mm. 
And then we broke it down and said, well, just look at the book of John or the book of first and second John. I'm like, this is an issue. Mm -hmm. And so I would go straight to the leaders. You don't know Sister Mary, my auntie don't know the books of the Bible. And you think as a pastor, her nephew, I'm supposed to not just smile on that. When according to the Bible, that you're supposed to be watching over my auntie's soul. That's right. And you can't observe that she don't know the books of the Bible. You can't observe that she don't know how to read. The time that she came in one time and y'all helped her read a few verses, it was like that. She died and went to heaven. <laughs> oh, wow. She remembered that. And we let her, and we sound words out to her, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah. That, yeah. that bless her heart. Think about that. But we have preached a cheap gospel, a soft safe. Oh, this one bless you. Now, now, now watch this here. We have taught salvation. Miss Morgan, gonna let this here. We have taught salvation without self-denial. Hmm. Oh, just come to Jesus. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. And so now we got those that in adultery loving Jesus. Those that in fornication loving Jesus, and then the homosexual loving Jesus, and, and I'm the lesbian loving Jesus. Everybody loving Jesus because you preaching they saw Jesus. That's right. They have nothing to intimidate. When Jesus ran into a woman caught in adultery, he didn't say, "Now go and don't get caught again." No, he didn't. No, no, he didn't. Huh? Did he tell her that? No, no, no. He said, "Go." And sin no more. What's he say? Go and don't commit adultery no more. Right. Go get your own husband. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Get your own. That's it. Yeah. Oh. We have made. Watch this here. We have made Jesus like the those gurus. Oh my goodness. Those nice and you know what I'm saying. Them, 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 them gurus. That's how we made Jesus. Oh. Now, we have taught salvation without self denial. Mm -hmm. See, we ain't even got to him talking about thing was wrong yet. See, they think, listen, they think that Moses hit the point. Paul, let me come to your church. I ain't even got to touch Moses. I touch Yeshua, who I'm going to talk about tonight, and you ain't going to even, you be screaming for Moses. <laughs> Watch this. Here. We have, as I say, taught salvation without self denial, and watch this here, and the crown without the cross. Yeah. Do y'all hear me? I want, listen, we are taught the crown without the cross. Yeah. We love this shop, we are chosen generation, but without commitment. Come on. We are all priesthood, but what kind of nation are we? See, these are titles. These are titles. Means nothing. And so now the message of, of the Messiah or the message of the Bible is compromised. Mm -hmm. Now watch this here. I'm gonna give you a few things to ponder on. And I'm talking to us. Thank you. We talk, listen, I listen, I got five, I got all these fingers pointing back at me. Listen, what I'm about to say. What I'm, I'm, I'm pointing at me first. Listen to this here. We spend hours. We spend hours watching television. But minutes watching in prayer. <laughs> Ouch. What you say, Pastor? I say we spend hours watching television, but many minutes, minutes, I ain't talking about a minute, a minute yeah. watching in prayer. How is that that I can sit there and watch three programs? The air program is an hour. That's three hours. Mm -hmm. But if I say, let's pray 15 minutes. That's a problem. I'm saying again, how say are we? Mm -hmm. How say am I? Mm -hmm. If I say that we're going to a movie. And we know the movie starts at 8 o'clock. 
What time do most people get to that movie? 7 30. Don't I can't be late to the movie. Can't be late to the movie. But how to study what time our movie start? At 12. But what time they get here? I'm, just, I'm talking to us. See, I'm talking to us. The movie started at 12. That's right. <laughs> but think about this here. The reason that I'm at the movie early because I bought the ticket. Mm -hmm. It cost me something. There you go. So if that's the case, then that means that what you're doing here not costing you nothing. So it's I can come late. So you treating us like we the critics. You know how the, you know when the movie first come on? <laughs> I'm talking to us. Right, right. Where's our prayer, prayer life here? Because we was doing that. He was still dragging in, right? Mm -hmm. So the question then, how safe are we? Peter them said the hour of prayer. You know how the people, you know how many people would have missed the Ruach? It's a value. It said that it came at the hour of prayer. Hour of prayer. Nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Had the people that I know when they got it. Because mm -hmm. why are they coming late? Mm -hmm. Watch this here. And this is America here. This is us right here. We're hungry for what, Pastor? We are hungry for sports. Oh yeah, sports is our idol. We are hungry for sports, but we're not hungry for the word. Mm. I said it. I said we're hungry for the sports. Oh, my team plays tonight, Dallas Cowboys. I stop at eight, so it's not like I'm shutting down early for the Cowboys because Cowboys getting paid. But we hungry for sports. Mm -hmm. You know, people know more. There are people know more about the stats of a quarterback than what Moses did. Mm -hmm. than, than the Bible. Mm -hmm. I can't stand a believer quoting well, how many stats a act a athlete have, but a memorized five scriptures in his whole journey. Mm -hmm. We have a problem now. Because how can you ever find where it is written? Yes, sir. We're not gonna listen. I I I watch I watch sports, but we ain't gonna sit around and talk about no sports for no hour. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, guys, those who are watching, is this what is this what Yeshua died for? Yeah. Is this what he died for? So that we can be free to do our own thing. Well, that's what got us in trouble at first. Yes. He never wanted to do their own thing. Yes. If I wanted to be my own self, then I can't come to Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, think about this question here. And you can put it on this yourself. Can anyone who spend more time playing video games than seeking God in prayer has any right to call Yeshua master? Come on, this stuff make you think. How can I call Yeshua master and I spend more time in video games and then talking about Jesus as Lord? Oh, that sounds sweet. Jesus is my Lord. Really? Wow. All I got to do is just follow you around. And we will sure see. It's like a guy saying, I'm married, but every time I turn around, he's flirting. Mm -hmm. You might be married, but you ain't committed. Right. You might believe that Jesus died, but you ain't committed. Mm -hmm. Now, just think about this here. If, if 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 a person cannot take a break, well then, because sometimes I forget to turn on the TV for 
That's oh yeah, it's, it's four o'clock. We have the game now. It's gone off because why? I'm fellowship. Yes, we have a TV here, but we don't turn it on soon. The service is over. No. Got to run to my sport. No, 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 no. If I can't die to sports on the have fellowship, then something has an issue. Sports that has become my God. Am I right? Yes, sir. Watch this. Here. Let's look at some verses. Let's go to uh, 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 First John. Because First John has an issue with this here too. First John chapter two. I know this one is out, out your messes. <laughs> we'll do uh, verse fifteen through seventeen. First John chapter two, verse fifteen through seventeen. Anyone? Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world. The love of the Father is not in him. Mm -hmm. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. It's not. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yah abideth forever. Yeah. Take it. John is telling us this here. Don't get caught up in the world. There's nothing, and I said this before, this world system that we're in right now is not built for the wheat. There's nothing around on TV that caused me to be more kadosh, holy. There's nothing that inspires us to really be committed to Yah. There's no programs on there. No programs. So Jonah said, listen, love not the world. Love not the world, neither the things that's in the world. And you'll know if you love the world that you can't turn up the TV for prayer and the word. That if the Shabbat and your best friend who's not really committed to, to Yeshua just happened to got some Texas tickets on the Shabbat. And the kickoff is at 12, Ms. Mom. Is it a test? Now you got to flip a coin. Oh, no. Now you know you got issues if you have to. Mm -hmm. That's why when I was asked to do a funeral, I mean, I mean, I don't do them. I mean, I like to do them anyhow. But it, was, it just happened to be on the Shabbat. I told the I told the young lady, I said, I can't do it. You got to find someone else. I, I wasn't gonna go miss. Fellowship with the living to go bury the dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. What? Like you can find somebody else. There's plenty of people uh, willing to take the money. Sure. But I got to feed the living. Hallelujah. Because the living know they're going to die. The dead don't. They know, nothing. They, they know nothing. So I don't need to be at people's funerals preaching their funeral. He said, oh, you heard Pastor Sherman? That was a good sermon. Hey, you ain't changed nothing. Mm -hmm. This is what John, uh, James chapter 4 says. Question again, how saved are we? Let's go to James. He's talking to me, Pastor. Look what James said. I'm talking to all of us, too. Yes, but I, I appreciate your honesty. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. James chapter 4. Verse 4 says what? About those who so love the world. Ye adulterers. You what? And adulteresses. Mm. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is imminent. Let that sink in what James is trying to talk to us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Notice, Sila, you adultery. So Yah yeah. said, listen, the world is not going to inspire you to live for me. Love not the world, you adulterer. If you love the world. That's what he said, right? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Witness, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Elohim? Mm. Whosoever, whosoever, therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of Elohim. Think about a friend. Every time the world calls, you respond. You love the world. You love the praises of the world. 
So if, if I'm a pastor and I want to be seen by the world, I want to be on Preachers for L.A. because I want to be seen. We love it when the world praises us. Why? You're on the same stage. You're on the same stage. What they just said about drop that booty, drop that hot, pop, 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 all these wars. And then, then here come a Christian coming up on the same stage where they just did a, a sodomite activity. Songs, girls dropping their booty, and he come up there and receive a war. Don't invite me to none of that stuff. I ain't receiving no. The stage already sacrificed to the idol. And you sit in the, in the, under the same audience receiving on the same stage that Tyler Perry or uh, 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 the girl Perry or something uh, just did a shoe on to Satan on stage uh -huh. and you Christian come uh -huh. and receive a uh -huh. award. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. You want to be loved by the world so much? Mm -hmm. You're an enemy of Yahweh. That's right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Think about that. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Mm. This is what we got to examine. That, that, listen, that's why I even squinted to not use gadgets that I know that that is used in the secular world to promote business. Like I'm not using that. That's why this ain't that this ain't that kind of business. Mm -hmm. This kingdom business, but we don't use uh, crafty uh, uh, ways to promote anything. God promote Himself. Hallelujah. You see what I'm talking about? Yeshua didn't, he didn't rid himself all like that. He didn't do stuff like that. We don't use the world way of promoting to promote the kingdom. Come on. Now, I'm not saying nothing wrong with advertising and billboard. I'm not talking about that. Okay, I, I understand that. But we ain't gonna have a hundred thousand dollar budget on advertising. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? We we got some cars back there. Y'all got cars in your purse. Mm -hmm. Somebody want one? That's why we promote church like it's a business. Mm -hmm. Competition. Competition? He's saying, listen, you go eat what you want to eat. If you're hungry for this kind of stuff, John the Baptist didn't advertise, and he's in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And the Bible say, oh, well, listen, why? Because the best advertiser in the world is what? Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Right there, Think about that. Word of mouth. Amen. I, I be wondering when you promote that much, what you really said. Mm -hmm. What you really said. Because if you got some good stuff, people are going to tell. Those who are hungry, mm -hmm. they'll come. Yes, sir. Again and again and again. So the question again, just by reading these verses here, ask yourself again, as we begin, all of us, to be to do a soul search. How saved are we? What kind of born experience have we had? Watch this here. If it calls for no personal sacrifice, mm. it'd be best he just not coming in. But I, I, sooner or later, I'm just going to let him know. Now, I listen to you for a whole two years. If you think that you are a Christian, I'm going to give you the turn, and you sold out to Jesus, then my name is Rudolph Redno Ranger, then you know it ain't. I mean, come on! Who are you selling that stuff to that you think that you saved? And there's no perfect sacrifice? We have preached a cheap gospel. Yes, sir. But they not crazy. The person said, I would come study with you, but I know that I'm going to have to change my life. See, they ain't crazy, Miss Marvin. Right. Yeah. They ain't crazy. They just talking. Mm -hmm. But he said, he said, nah, I, I, yeah, I, I need to find me a church. I'm just letting them talk. Yeah, I need to find me a church. I said, yeah. I said, well, go. I'm helping them. I said, go to your uncle over there. You remember him? So I'm sending them to one. Go over there. Go over there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, 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 I'm helping them now. Then finally he said, well, because... I know that if I come to come study with you, I'm gonna have to change. So you rather go hide in a congregation and because you know how to talk the good game and have people thinking that you 
on fire for God, but your lust is still out of control and you searching with your eyes. See, that stuff can't go here because I know your flesh is ruling. So what kind of friend will I be if I allow you to bust hell wide open? So what kind of born experience have we had, guys? If if my own personal life demand no sacrifice, watch this here, and it produced no virtue of separating from the world. There it is. There There's it is. no separation. There it is. No separation. Now, this might not apply to everybody, but it's just me personal. If my name if I had a certain name on the, when I was out there hustling and doing my thing, and I got saved, you know I'm changing that name, right? Right, right. You can't call me that no more. Right, right. Even though now that I'm saved and I'm doing good things, but people are, are calling me that, but other people still remember what you, I, 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 I what it got really that name. Because why that name applied, drug dealer, homonger, schemer, I don't want that name. Why? For if any man be in Christ. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. We are creation. We're a new mm -hmm. creation. I don't want the name. Slick with it. Now, now, what y'all would think, me being a pastor that I am, and I'm still hanging on to the name Slick with it. <laughs> huh? But 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 see, because I want to hang on to that name because that's the name I prosper on. But that's not a kingdom name. You use that name for darkness. Yes, sir. Because you love the world. There's no separating of the world. And people know you by that name, so you don't want to separate from that name because people know you by that name. Why well, have to question that born again? Mm -hmm. I really have to question that. Because your heart has to know that I don't don't call me that. Who's that slick with it? Amen, amen. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. That name had a different lifestyle to it. That man died. I'm a new man. Oh, man, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean that. I, I know you, you know, just spread the word that my name is Pastor Sherman. Uh, you can call me Sherman, but just don't call me slick with it. So, no separation of the world. And then another question you have to ask, where's your hatred for sin? Mm -hmm. If I can sit up now, 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 now believe me, I, I watch, I don't really watch. See, that's certain shows I, I, I like, you know what I'm saying? I can watch, but but like my wife, you know, she said, nah, she said, I don't even watch certain shows no more because it's any show that you can watch without two men's kissing. I ain't watching it no more. I'm like, wow, it was a good show. Thank you. Thank you. It was a good show. I'm like, why y'all got to do that? Yeah. And, uh, okay, no more favorites. No. Yeah. Right. And then after a while, I'm just being honest. Can I be honest? Yes, and after a while, you get tired of fast forwarding. Hey, yeah. Or oh, 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 turning the channel. Yeah, mm -hmm. What's the difference than me had to put up the phone with, with my wife walking in the room? So, now, I know there's certain shows that really don't. Nah, 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 nah. If we can't watch it in front of our kids, should we be watching it? No. Nope. Okay. Now, that's, that's, now, I'm just being under that. Now, that's real. Because mm -hmm. you should say, except you be like a little child. Yep. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. It's, I'm telling you, living a kadosh life, I ain't listening. I ain't saying uh, I, I ain't there. I'm just telling you that how save are we? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. After a while, we're like, you know what? I used to like that show, but I I, I can't watch that show anymore. That's right. Then, because it's not I can see if they just it was just part of that sh that scene, but every scene, mm -hmm. every time it comes on, mm -hmm. like the devil is a liar. Thank you. Yeah. I must tell you how perverted. The world is. My wife, before I left, was watching something. Uh, I don't know if they showed it on CNN or one of those channels right there. And so they had. <laughs> I ain't making this up. I promise I'm making this up. 
they I don't know if they cloned it or they took one of the seeds or eggs or whatever. Well, I'm just gonna say that to you. Now they have two penguins. Penguins, right? Homosexuals. Stop it. Huh? What? They took a penguin and they made a male and somehow they took the one male and put another male. Now we got gay penguins. <laughs> I ain't making this up, y'all. But watch that. How can they make it? a gay penguin? This is real. This is evil. This is this evil. is real. Now, now notice that the penguin wasn't born gay. No. They made him gay. But how did the penguin become gay? Thank you. So somehow they made the two. Listen, penguin. Listen, two dogs kiss each other, male and female. Does that mean male and male does that? Do they mean the dog is gay? No. He's just a dog. Yeah. That's all they do. But I'm thinking, like, is that perverted or what? So now, kids, let's go to the zoo and see what 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 God made two male penguins. Oh, God. I didn't make that. But they ain't gonna tell you that. Man made that. This is this is the world that we come into. So I guarantee you, coming to a zoo next to you. Cause why? His mother ain't going nowhere. No Child way. sacrifice. We no. want your children. Yep. So we know kids love animals. Mm -hmm. Now Walt Disney probably going to come out with a movie. Steve and Stephanie. Or Stephen and, and what? Steve and Steve and Bob. The yeah. people of Steve and Bob. Yeah. Put it in the cartoons. My two daddies. Uh, tell you, we better try to wake up. Because the world is promoting all this here, okay? Sure. Promoting all this here. So again, how safe are we? Watch this here. Let's do this here. Ask this question here. How can we claim to be born from above? Listen to this question. How can we claim to be Claim to be born from above. Where's the evidence? <laughs> Miss Mama, just that simple. Where's the evidence? I mean, to us, it shocked us when a person, a Spanish person, don't know Spanish. Yeah, it does. <laughs> we just, Miss Mama, Miss Bro, we just don't understand that. So I'm saying, you're born again, but I see no evidence you're born again. No evidence. So if you're truly born again, let me show you this verse here. If you're truly born again, this must happen. Go to Colossians chapter 3. If you're truly born again, a few minutes, it's already gone. But it's just crazy around here. I'm about to say, time away, don't nobody. No, I'm talking about again, how safe right. are we? So, if we're born again, born from above, it ought to be some evidence. Okay? Colossians chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Okay? Starting at verse 1. Mm -hmm. Let's do this verse here. If ye then be risen with Christ, born again, yes, sir. do what? See? Seek those things which are above what Christ said at the right hand of God. No one will ever take it. No one will ever take it. So, You've been born again, and this word put in, because it ain't natural. It, 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 it don't come by itself. This word by the Holy Spirit, take it and put the kingdom desire in you. Okay? And then it said, now, set your what? So now, notice, notice what he said first, seek. Now he said, set your affection on things above. Affection, Miss Rose, that's affection. Where's your affection? For the things of the kingdom. Amen. Where's your affection? We have affection for everything else. And whatever your affection is, it's going to draw. You ain't got to tell me what your affection is. Right, right. It's like this. if I walk, listen, if I take us all to the ice cream place, I ain't got to ask you what kind it is. You're going to tell them what kind you want. 
You, your affection is for this kind. Your affection for that kind. Am I right? Right. So if you're a kingdom citizen, I ain't got to tell you that we have Bible study on Mondays and Thursdays. Right, right. If your affection, once you find out, if your affection is strong enough, you get here. Mm -hmm. You get here. Because I don't get, listen, I know about Facebook. I know about YouTube and all this. I know. But ain't nothing about seeing the saints themselves. No, I'm telling it, it ain't nothing take the place of that. Okay? As a young man, lady, screw my friend, I go to the restroom, but nothing take the place with my wife. You know what I mean? I can fantasize all I want to. <laughs> Amen. But 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 this is how God made it. So I don't care. Listen, it'd be some good teaching on that's some facts, some good teaching, but nothing take the place of this. Nothing take the place of this here. So set your affection on things above, right? Yes, sir. Not on things of the earth. There we go again. Don't love the world. Don't love the earth. Now I've talked to people that's been born again. Okay. For why is that, Pastor? For you are dead and your life is hid in Christ and Elohim. You see that? Yes. This is people that have been born again. These are people that say. You ain't gotta ask them. I had. Y'all know how to have people coming here and we about to start class. Why they don't stay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have we started this Bible? Mm -hmm. Why you don't stay? I bet you if you came to my house back, back in the day and I was rolling a blunt and I, or I was about to smoke some weed, I bet you wouldn't leave. Yeah. The same people. Because mm -hmm. why? They smoke weed and I smoke weed. So you ain't going to leave. Why? Because I smoke weed and you smoke weed. Well, we supposed to be reading the whole, the, the same book. Then why are you leaving it? I got leaves. <laughs> I got leaves. Y'all hear me, mother? I got leaves. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 We, listen, it took us 45 minutes and we just got a rush, huh? That's all. Just a minute. Huh? A little rush right there. We feeling good. <laughs> well, get about Star Trek. Beat me up, y'all. <laughs> Father, we bless you. We thank you right now that, Father, that that we can have a reality check on, on ourselves. Yeah. Ask the question, how say are we? Are we? Yeah. So there must be some separation from the world. Yeah. We must challenge ourselves. If I spend more time watching sports and TV yeah. and not in prayer, I need to ask myself, how say Oh, oh, we. Yes. If I spend all my time craving sports but not fasting, I need to ask myself. I'll say, are oh, we? Ooh. Father, we bless you again. We thank you. We thank you for tuning in. And I pray that y'all ask yourself the same question. Yes. How safe are you? How safe yes. are we? Yes. If we do not deny ourselves. Yes. So, Father, have your way, <clears throat> excuse me, that we be. Reminded that Yeshua did not die that we can entertain ourselves to death. But he died for the example, the sacrifice for your kingdom. And I pray that, Father, nothing wrong about the TV, watch the sport. But, Father, if we just overindulge it, that you will convict us, Father. If we are, we are uh, more committed to making it to a movie on time, but not to the house of study on time, convict us. Convict us, Father. If we are giving more to the world, then to the kingdom, convict yes. us. Yes. Ask ourselves, how saved are we? Yes, if people can spend more money on dog food, then mission. How saved are we? So we bless you, we thank you, and we ask the Father, we ask you as a congregation, and our brothers and sisters watching, we ask Father, forgive us, because we all stand guilty. I stand guilty with my brothers and sisters in the house, and those who are watching. Help us, that's all we can say, help us, help us. By your Holy Spirit, help us all. We thank you. Just right up. May your hope bless thee and keep thee. May your hope make his face shine upon thee and be glory to thee. May your hope lift up his come upon thee and give thee peace. May your hope destroy all the chaos in your life. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God, we want to thank y'all once again. If you have any comments or questions, you can always send us. Send us an email to thehouses30 at yahoo.com. That is thehouses30 at yahoo.com. Or you can text us at 49354-3659. Once again, 49354-3659.
Oh, if the most high said, said the same, we'll be back here, same back channel. <laughs> Thursday. Amen. Hallelujah. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Shalom. Oh, we needed that. <laughs>